take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Plasmid and vector are two types of self-replicative DNA molecules. Plasmids are the extra chromosomal elements, naturally occurring inside the bacterial cells. Vectors are artificially introduced DNA molecules into the cells. Plasmids do not carry essential genes for the functioning of the bacterial cells. Point 2 February 2018. Take our lead. Plasmid DNA is a part of extra chromosomal DNA that is separated from the genomic DNA. It typically occurs inside the prokaryotic cells and is circular in nature. Chromosomal DNA, on the other hand, is the genomic DNA found in prokaryotic and eukaryotic entities. Take our lead. The six major types of vectors are plasmid, circular extra chromosomal DNA that autonomously replicates inside the bacterial cell, phage, linear DNA molecules derived from bacteriophage lambda, cosmids, bacterial artificial chromosomes, yeast artificial chromosomes, human artificial chromosome, the 11th of December 2019. Let's help you make your mark. Most plasmids are circular, made of DNA, and much smaller than chromosomes. The copy number is the number of copies of the plasmid in each bacterial cell. For most plasmids, it is one or two copies per chromosome, but it may be as many as 50 or more for certain small plasmids such as the coal plasmids. Take our lead. Plasmid vectors are the vehicles used to drive recombinant DNA into a host cell and are a key component of molecular cloning. The procedure of constructing DNA molecules and introducing it into a host cell. Let's help you make your mark. A. Cloning vectors. In molecular biology, plasmids are used as vectors, ferrying genetic material from one cell to another, for the purposes of replication or expression. A selection mechanism designed to confirm that a desired sequence has been inserted into the multiple cloning site. Point one zero December 2016. Make your mark! Take our lead. A vector is an object that has both a magnitude and a direction. Two examples of vectors are those that represent force and velocity. Both force and velocity are in a particular direction. The magnitude of the vector would indicate the strength of the force or the speed associated with the velocity. Take our lead. Plasmids have been key to the development of molecular biotechnology. They act as delivery vehicles, or vectors, to introduce foreign DNA into bacteria. Using plasmids for DNA delivery began in the 1970s when DNA from other organisms was first cut and pasted into specific sites within the plasmid DNA.25 March 2014. Make your mark, take our lead. Artificial chromosomes An artificial chromosome can carry a much larger DNA fragment than other vectors. YACs and BACs can carry a DNA fragment up to 300,000 nucleotides long. Three structural necessities of an artificial chromosome include an origin of replication, a centromere, and telomeric end sequences. 
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.